differentiation for economics. I mean, how differentiation rules are used to understand or analyze some economic concepts. Calculus consists of two parts as differentiation and integration. Here, I focus only on differentiation. In another presentation, I will talk about integration and its usage in economics. Here, differentiation rules are used in economics for two main reasons. First one is to find marginal function or slope of a function. Next, we use differentiation to find the value of a maximum point or minimum point to find maximum or minimum point. In this presentation, I am not going to talk about the way of using differentiation. I just explained why do we need this one. First one is about find marginal function. I mean when the total function is given, we can use differentiation to find the marginal function. Uh, example, when you are given total first function, you have to differentiate to obtain the marginal first function. When you are given the total revenue function, you have to differentiate total revenue function to obtain the marginal revenue function. Like that, when you are given the total, we can use differentiation rules to find the marginal. Actually, marginal function is the slope of total function. Really, differentiation find the slope of a function. In economics, slope or change, additional addition of something to the total is known as marginal. Therefore, differentiation is helpful to understand the marginal uh, function. In other words, when we want to understand how the dependent variable responds to the independent variable, we have to use differentiation because differentiation explains how change the dependent variable as a result of changing independent variable. Therefore, differentiation is very important to understand this behavioral patterns. Right. Second one is about finding the maximum point or minimum points. As I already mentioned, first differentiation or the first derivative you as the slope. At the maximum point or minimum point, slope should be zero. Based on this small knowledge, we can understand that when a curve move upwards and start to move downwards, the middle point should be zero. Therefore, when slope becomes zero, it should be a maximum point or minimum point. There is another situation we call that inflectionary point. Uh, here, I am not going to talk about that part. I am just focusing only on the maximum points and minimum points. Let's take an example. When we have the profit function, we want to find what is the maximum point, uh, profit. When we find, when we have the first function or first analysis, we want to find what is the minimum cost. Like that, when we want to find whether it is maximum point or minimum point, that will be very important in economic analysis. For example, when a firm is attempting uh, to maximize the profit, they have to understand at which quantity they can go to the maximum level of their profit. On the other side, uh, when a firm want to understand what is the minimum possible cost, that can be used to reach a certain level of output. Uh, this derivative lesson is, the differentiation lesson is important because first derivative shows the maximum point or minimum point. When we want to find whether it is a maximum point or minimum point, the first derivative is not enough. In such case, we have to go to the second derivative and decision based on second derivative. This is how we use differentiation concepts in economics. In the in my next presentation, I will explain how differentiation rules are used to find the slope of a function, find the maxima or minima like that. Uh, thank you.